For more information on our top stories and others, please visit our website. It's channelcv.com. YouTube.com forward slash channelsweb has videos of our shows. A lecturer in the University of Lagos, Dr. Boniface Ibenegu, who was captured on video by BBC Africa in a compromising manner, with an undercover student seeking admission has been suspended by authorities of the University of Lagos and Foursquare Church, where he is a part-time pastor. The lecturer is on the fire after the BBC documentary filmed discreetly by a reporter. In the video, the lecturer could be seen groping the undercover reporter disguised as a 17-year-old admission seeker. The school's pro-chancellor, Dr. Wale Babalaki, however, told Channel's television that the University Council will investigate the matter as it does not condone such behaviour. I can say on behalf of our council that there is zero tolerance for sexual harassment. We will investigate matter thoroughly and anybody found wanting will have to face the consequences according to the laws of the university. Students must not be made to suffer for anything, and your max must be directly commensurate with your performance. Any other thing is not scholarly and will not be tolerated. But while the University of Lagos has shut down the cold room, which was mentioned in the BBC interview as a place where lecturers allegedly sexually harass students. In a statement by the university spokesperson, Mrs. Taiwo Oluyede, the university authorities say the so-called cold room is a, functions, is a functioning room that may have been abused because this is a deviation from the purpose for which it was created. She assured members of the public that any other lecturer mentioned in the documentary will also be suspended to ensure proper investigation is carried out. Nigeria's Independence Day celebrations may be over, but more and more suggestions are still pouring in on how Nigeria can return to its glory days. And in his voice is an elder statesman and founder, Commonwealth Secretary General, former rather, Commonwealth Secretary General, Chief Emeka Ayoko, who says that the leadership and citizens must work harder to restore the country to the gains and status it once held both in words and deeds. Chief Ayoko was speaking at the 23rd edition of the Hallmark of Labour Awards held in Lagos. Parked in this room are some of the most distinguished and accomplished Nigerians who have excelled in their various fields of endeavour. The atmosphere is that of conviviality, warmth, nostalgia, and celebration. They are here to honor some Nigerians who, through hard work, discipline, and tenacity in their chosen profession, have been identified, singled out for recognition, and awarded at this 23rd Role Model Awards under the auspices of Hallmark Labor Foundation. I commend the initiators of this foundation and their foresight right from its inception to the present day. Entry formalities over. The Royal Call of Awards starts with Mrs. Ibuku Awashika for her outstanding contributions to entrepreneurship she corporate she governance. Is she is chairman, First Bank, Nigeria PLC. Then this, the man who have become the face of modern broadcasting out of the continent of Africa, chairman of Channels Media Group, Mr. John Momo, as he picks up the Dr. Christopher Kaladia Award for Excellence in Leadership and Professionalism in the Media. Next in line is Professor Ishak Oloyede, who has been recognized for positive changes and advocacy within the university system. And I'm glad to present it to him. Professor Idris Mohammed for his contribution to the field of medicine. 
Professor Oladele Kale, also for the medical practice. Thank you. Professor Nimi Dimka Bricks for education. <laughs> Professor Anya O. Anya for his contributions to science and public affairs. <laughs> and for the legal profession, demonstrating that some still have it in terms of integrity, Justice Clara Ogumbi for exemplary courage and Justice Ori Loniche for advancing the legal practice. And switching gear a bit is for a serving minister, Dr. Bunayano, for his excellence in leadership. You're welcome, sir. Yeah. The Lifetime Achievement Award goes to one of Nigeria's biggest exports to Africa and the world, Dr. Kimumi Adishino. All of us here. The Africa Listen, Development Bank me. president also responded on behalf of action. the other recipients. Labor. We all have a part to play in our little ways and in our respective spheres of influence. Of course, you can have this array of personality and elder statesmen and not hear something about the future and the present conditions of the country. I believe so that our country will return to the glorious days when it was an indisputable leader of Africa. I remember. The message is simple. Hard work, earnesty and discipline still pays. Olu Phillips, Channel Television News. Those times when even my friends try to make a a nursing mother identified as Sabina David has been kidnapped by gunmen at the Kaswanbera area of Ardul Kola local government area of Taraba State. According to her husband, Mr. David Akipa, the abductors arrived in their numbers in the early hours of today, shooting sporadically, and on hearing the approaching gunshots, he fled, leaving his wife and a newborn baby. He adds that the kidnappers have since called demanding for 20 million naira for her release. An eyewitness, Gambut Njuma, told Channels Television that the kidnappers fired into the air for more than two hours without any interference from security agencies. When contacted, the police public relations officer, David Missal, said that the matter is yet to be reported to his desk.